So guys welcome back to a new part of C programming tutorial. In today's episode we are going to learn about what are the operators available in C programming. So the first first set of operators are the arithmetic operator. I declare three variables in A, B and C of integer type and I assign I initialize the variable A with a value 8 and uh, B with value 2 ok uh, we are using plus for plus symbol for performing addition uh, plus for addition so here is the example C equal to A plus B ok here just take the value just take the value of variable a from the memory and take value of b from memory and add the two values and assign it to the variable c using this operator this equal to operator is called assignment operator in c programming okay so just print out the result using print of statement print of sum equal to so an integer so use the format string percentage d and specify that variable name here the variable name is c ok now i save the program and execute it compile it ok now run it ok sum is done ok uh, so now here is the second arithmetic operator using minus for subtraction subtraction so I use the same variable C if you using the same variable it will overwrite the previous value the previous data available on the variable C it will overwrite it uh, so C equal to A minus B So print up the result using this same statement using print of statement. So put a slash and for print the result in a new line. Here it is difference. Difference is C. Save it again. Now compile it. Now run it okay we got the difference is 6 okay uh, now we using star symbol or asterisk symbol for multiplication so again c equal to a into b again print the result here it is product product is ok and again you be using the slash symbol for division for division operation C equal to A divided by B. These are the basic arithmetic operators used in C programming. Now print the result. So it is quotient Q U O T I E N T. I am not sure the spelling is correct. Okay. Anyway, now compile the program without an error and execute it run it ok we got all the output ok now I introduce some special operators available in C programming the first one is the percentage operator here it is the percentage operator is called modular operator modular modular operator 
They will explain the working of this operator with an example. I just declare <coughs> reinitialize the variable A. Uh, I put variable value for A is 5 and value for B is 2. Okay. Now I use this that modular operator C equal to A modulus. It is not modular, it is modulus. It is modulus. This modulus operator. So now here I'm going to use that operator A modular B. Okay. Here it divide A by B and return the result as the remainder of this operation. That means the modular operator always return a remainder of the division operation. That means if it is uh, divided if it divide A by B, that means 5 by 2, uh, there is a remainder of 1 is available. That means the value of 1 is assigned to variable C. So here I am going to print out the result using printf. Result, result equal to result equal to percentage DC save the program compile it okay run it now you can see that the result is the value of result value of C is 1 that means uh, it, it return the reminder return reminder of this operation that means it will divide the first operator by the second operator operand and uh, it will return the reminder as a result. So that is the use of a, a modulus operator in C programming. Okay, now we using two equal to that means uh, a single equal is equal is the is the assignment operator is the assignment operator. If you are using double equal to, it is not assignment operator, it is the, uh, it is the equality check operator. Equality check operator. That means, if we like, if we write like this in a C program, that means, uh, the meaning of this statement, check value of A is equal to is equal to value of B. That is the meaning of this statement. It is it always return only one boolean value true or false. If it is equal it will return true. If it is not equal it will return false. That is the use of this operator and one more operator, one more special operator. This one. Put the symbol and equal. That is, this is the not equal operator, not equality operator. The use of this one, if we write like this, A not equal B. If the value of A equal to value of B, it will return false. That means this is the reverse operation of the equality operator. That means if the value of A equal to value of B, it will return false. Otherwise, that means the value of A not equal to value of B, it will return true. True. Okay, guys, these are these are the some important operators available in C programming. So thank you for watching. See you in the next part.